Storytime friends. It's me, Miss Nadia from the Carlinville Public Library. I'm so happy to share a couple of stories with you today, but let's start by making a snowball. Can you cup your hands like this? And we're gonna make a snowball, make a snowball, throw it now, throw it now. Make a snowball, make a snowball, throw it now, throw it now. Let's do it just a little bit faster. Okay, you ready? Make a snowball, make a snowball, throw it now, throw it now. Make a snowball, make a snowball, throw it now, throw it now. Good job, guys. Good job. I've got another little activity for you guys, and you may want to stand up for it. And it's from a book. Here, I'll grab it over here. And it is called The Snowman Shuffle. So stand up and do the snowman shuffle with the storybook. And it says, Shuffle like a snowman. Shuffle side to side. Can you go shuffle side to side? Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Now, shuffle forwards. Shuffle closer to me. Shuffle backwards. In a graceful slide. Can you slide? Ready? Good job, guys. Let's see what else we have to do. Let's see. <gasps> Rub your hands together. Keep them nice and warm. Keep rubbing them. Spin like a snowflake. Can you spin? In a winter storm. Spin. Shh. Okay, stop. Swoosh like the wind. Can you make your arms swoosh like the wind on a cold winter day? Let's swoosh. Ready? Move like a tree branch. Sway, sway, sway. Can you make your arms very straight like a tree? And then you can go sway, sway, sway. Hop, 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 hop all around. Now stop and be still. Oh, freeze. You are frozen to the ground. Look. Put your arms out like branches on a snowman. Very good. Then tip your hat and take a bow. You see, he puts his one hand under his tummy and then he folds down. Look at you. You're a snowman now. Good. He's got his arms straight out. He found himself a hat. He's standing straight like a statue. Look at. They're so silly. They switched hats. So silly. So that was called The Snowman Shuffle. And it was written by Christiane jones and emma randall and it's put out by picture window books and a capstone imprint so check it out sometime all right let's see so we know it's usually winter when we do when there's snowmen around so we're going to read this book i see winter and I wonder if you've seen the same things that these children see 
that let them know that it's winter. And right now, I can see on this book a few things that tell me it's winter. Can you see them? I see that, and I see these, and I see that they're wearing coats, and they're wearing hats. And this book is written by Charles Gingna, and it's the pictures are by Ag uh, Jetkowski, and it's a picture window book also. There it is. Let's see what they see. And see, and we're going to find out whether we have seen the same things that they've seen. So let's see. They see winter. Have you seen snowflakes? I have. Not today, but I have. Oh, look it. It says, I see snowflakes passing by. I see gray geese in the sky. I see shadows on the hill. I see frost upon the sill. See, there's frost. That's what you call a window sill. And they saw frost on the sill. <clears throat> I see boots and hats, brand new. I see mittens, red and blue. I see sleds and pairs of skates. There's the sled. There's the skates. Have you gotten your sleds out yet? We haven't yet. Not yet, but maybe soon. It says, I see, I see figure eight. Do you see the eight? They carved it into the ice with their skates. Look, see? There's the eight. Go around and back again. I made an eight. I see snowmen in a row. I see angels in the snow. I see trees without their leaves. I see smoke rings ride the breeze. Do you see smoke rings? They're coming from the chimneys. I see cookies on a plate. I see grandma decorate. Have you seen that? I've seen cookies. I've seen a tree decorated. I see cocoa in a cup. I see grandpa sip it up. I see people in a choir. I see stockings by the fire. I've seen that already. It must be winter. I see lights upon the tree. I see presents wrapped for me. The end. Have you seen all of that? I have not seen a snowman yet, but I thought it would be good to read this book anyway because it'll help us remember what we can do in the snow. So let's start 
by counting some pretend snowflakes. Are you ready? Let's get our hands warmed up. Warm them up high, warm them down low, warm them over here to the side, warm them over to this side. And we're gonna show me one snowflake, you ready? One little, two little, three little snowflakes, four little, five little, six little snowflakes, seven little, eight little, nine little snowflakes, Ten little snowflakes floating in the air. Can we get floating? Very good. All right. Let's see. Hmm. What are some things that help keep us warm? We read a really good book last week about the jacket I wear in the snow to keep you warm in the winter. So I got a little song that goes with that. So let's start with our coat. And we say, the coat on my body keeps me warm, keeps me warm. Does that sound right? The coat on my body keeps me warm, keeps me warm, keeps me warm. The coat on my body keeps me warm all winter long. Hmm, what else do we wear? Hmm, they're wearing hats to keep them warm. You ready? Can you touch your head? You ready? The hat on my head keeps me warm, keeps me warm, keeps me warm. The hat on my head keeps me warm all winter long. Hmm else do they wear to keep them warm? Their hands. What are their hands covered with? Mittens. You ready? Let's clap our hands to this one. Ready? The mittens on my hands keep me warm. Keep me warm. Keep me warm. The mittens on my hands keep me, keeps me warm all winter long. Hmm else do they have? They have boots. Can you stomp your feet? Can you hear my, my feet stomp? Ready? We're going to do that one. Ready? We're going to stomp to it though. Ready? The boots on my feet keep me warm. Keep me warm. Keep me warm. The boots on my feet keep me warm all winter long. Good job, guys. All right, I have another book about snowflakes falling. Let me put this back. It's called Snowflakes Fall. It is so pretty. I just love the artwork on this one. And sometime you should check it out because it's just, there's a lot more little details you can see in it. So it's called Snowflakes Fall. And it's written by Patricia McLaughlin and Stephen Kellogg. And it is published by Random House. Oh my goodness, this is such a pretty book. Look at how much fun they have in the snow. And they're all bundled up. Look at that. All right. Oh, look at doesn't look like winter, does it? Oh, but over here, that looks like winter. Let's turn the page. Snowflakes fall. <clears throat> here, let me get closer so you can see the book better. Here you go. After the flowers are gone, Snowflakes fall, flake after flake after flake, each one a pattern, all its own, no two the same, all beautiful. Snowflakes fall to sit 
on gardens. Look at, can you see? This was where they have their pumpkins. This is where they have their tomatoes. And this is where they have their row of squash. And it's all covered in snow. And evergreen trees. The snowflakes fall to sit on gardens and evergreen trees. On the fur of dogs and the tongues of laughing children, no two the same, all beautiful. Snowflakes fall, drift, and swirl together like the voices of children. Snowflakes fall on a, wi a, a winding river's sandy banks. On a hilltop town, on its ancient church, on its loved library, in its familiar flagpole. Can you see the town? When snowflakes fall at night, Wailing winds may blow, and frantic icy snowflakes scratch the window glass. Branches fly, and shadows darken dreams. Are you ever scared of the wind? Sometimes I do, but most of the time it's just comforting because I know I'm inside nice and warm. Oh, look. But then when we wake in the morning light, surprise, the world shines. Snowflakes fall to quilt meadows. So we see the wandering prince of birds, rabbits, the bobcat at dawn. Do you see the prince? Can you tell whose prince are whose? Which ones are the birds? Can you find them? I wonder whose those are. Turn the page and find out. And the footprints of small red boots. Do you like to make prints in the snow? Look at, he made all those prints. And look at, there's that bobcat they were talking about. He's hiding. Making sled paths. sled paths. Hmm. And snowmen, yeah, and snowmen, and forts. Do you ever make a snow fort? And fields of snow angels. Look at that, all those kids. And look at, they laid side by side, so it looks like they're kind of holding hands. It's so neat. I love to make snow angels. And I like to 
I like to add like their eyes and their nose and their mouth. And when the snowflakes melt in quiet sun, they fill the chattering streams. Look at it. Fills the creeks. Flowing, rushing, sending drops of water up to fall as rain. Did you know snow really is water? It's just water frozen. It's really cold water. And then it'll melt. And then it'll evaporate and go into the sky and fall as rain. So on places where the snowflakes had been, where soon flowers will grow again. And when the flowers bloom, the children remember the snowflakes. And we, we, and we remember the children. Remember the children playing? Look at all their little angels. No two the same and all beautiful. All the children are beautiful. So children are just like snowflakes. They're all beautiful and not a single one is the same. So that means you are beautiful too. And you're the one and only you. You're unique, just like a snowflake. So I'm gonna show you how to make a snowflake. Let me show you. I have three kind of short. I had a big long one and then I cut it in half. And so now I have three of these. And I'm gonna take one bead or you could just twist them in the middle. But I just found out today that putting a bead in the middle is gonna hold it, hold them in place. So I'm gonna take a bead I have here and see I have all three together. This gets kind of tricky so you may need mom to help. So I've got my bead. I've got a fairly large bead here and I'm gonna put all three of them through it like that. And then I'll make sure they're, it's in the middle, but it looks like one of these is longer than the other. So let's see, I'm gonna kind of move that around. And then this one, is that, that's good. Is this one good? Yeah, all right. So I have it in the middle and look at it. He kind of looks like a six legged spider. And I'm gonna spread out my, whatever you wanna call it, legs, arms of my snowflake. Look at, and I have my little bead here and I'm gonna start putting some beads on there. You know what, I want something shiny. So I've got these clear beads that kind of look like ice. So I'm gonna put some on and you just, you gotta take one bead at a time. And, slide it like so there you go and then I have to find the center sometimes these are kind of difficult to find the center but here's the center on that can you see it there it is so there I'm gonna put that down and I'm gonna do another one Three more little arms to do and I like to do one bead on each um, little arm or leg of the snowflake so I can do a pattern but you don't have to do a pattern and I just dropped it Slide it on down, and this is fun. 
I like to make different colors and patterns. And then I just today I figured out, oh, I don't need to twist them in the middle. I can just use a bead to put on them. So then I got a bunch in the middle. And then I'm gonna put, you know, I'm gonna do a, a couple long ones. And I'm gonna do them colored so you guys can see it a little better. Here's one. I'm gonna find another purple one. I'm gonna do every other one purple. And then one more purple, like so. Oh, look at it's coming out. Okay, I'm gonna add another. You know, I'm gonna go with green. I'm not really wanting to do green, but we'll do it. We'll see how it looks. See, I kind of made a pattern. Like I'm making one pattern here, and it's like every other one. Like this will have a pattern, so that means it repeats. And then, um, like every other one is a certain pattern that I've made up. Like this one's clear clear purple, and this one's clear green, clear purple, clear, oh, this one's clear green. And that's how you do a pattern. So you just use those colors and you repeat them. Actually, I used the wrong color, shade of green there. Let me find a different one. Yeah, that's the right one. I think that's the right shade of green. All right, so if I have all that I want to do um, my snowflake, then I kind of want to end them because this part is kind of scratchy. So I've done it two different ways. I'll either just fold it back like this, or I could put end it with a bead, and I'll show you. I'll just show you how to do that. And I will have some of these um, at the desk. So all you have to do is just give us a call or have mom stop at the door and knock on the door if we're open. We're open till 5.30 today. Tomorrow we're 9.30 to five. Or is it nine to five? I think it's nine to five tomorrow and then nine to one on Saturday. And then we're closed on Sunday and then Monday through Thursday, we're open 930 to 530. So just knock on the door or give us a call and we'll look for your car. And mom, mom can pick you up a little baggie of the materials to make this cute little snowflake. All right. So let me go ahead and show you. I have some other ones that I made. This one. Oh, let me get my fingers out of the way. Here's this snowflake. And then I have this snowflake that I made. So that would be awesome if you guys all made one too. It's really fun. And you can do different, um, different, uh, and look at this one. You can kind of spread them out so you can kind of see them more see the beads more see there you go I'd love it if you stopped by and picked up some um, and then those books won't be available for um, I don't know I think it's probably eight days but I can't remember anyway all right so we'll have these available for you if just give us a call or knock on the door and our number is 854-3505 you can email us at mail at carlinvillelibrary.org um, what else and you can also go to our website to check out books that way and just um, and just use your um, library card number and then your password is the four last four numbers in your phone number and that's it guys thanks for joining me today and I hope you stay warm and safe and be sure to wear your mask when you're out and about in public. 
and wash your hands and stay six feet apart. Have a great day. Bye now.